Let's not act like you're surprised that we're here today to deliver yet another one of our lists. It's oddly what we're becoming known for and is by far our most requested content, which at the end of the day suits us perfectly because boy do I love putting them together for you. By popular request on our YouTube poll, today it's all about the top 20 games we hope are coming in 2024. I'm also happy to say that I'm mostly confident that the games on this list should be coming this year, but there's a reason the word hope is in the title, so just know that a few might make us wait a bit longer. However, we're all for waiting at the pillow fort as we don't prefer unfinished or bug riddled titles. I think we can agree that while we're overwhelmingly excited for everything on this list, let this be our sincere message to the studios to please take the time you need to deliver a finished product. We don't prefer games that lack originality in our fort, so even just two extra weeks to add a touch of personality into it is two weeks you should take. A quick note before we start, this list is not ranked in any order, and we've included a range of genres from action, RPG, Metroids, platformers, survival, life sins, and of course, your cozy and casual ones too. It wouldn't really be Dougie and I if there wasn't a slice of everything, so rest easy knowing there's something for everyone. With all that out of the way, grab your fluffy socks and your favorite blanket and get comfortable as we explore the world of games that might be coming in 2024. the trailer for this game played at the Game Awards and we saw from the makers of Ori flash across our screen, we knew it didn't matter what genre the game was, we were going to play it. Moon Studios is known for their gorgeous art, phenomenal cinematics and music, and the heart-wrenching stories they tell. No Rest for the Wicked is the next project they're bringing to us and as an action RPG fan, I couldn't be happier. This one seems to carry those dark undertones we loved in Ori, but instead of switching around our spirit sword, we'll be clasping metal and driving it straight towards our foes. Needless to say, we're waiting impatiently for the release date on this one. played the first Hollow Knight, but veterans of the channel will know how much we love a good Metroid and platformer experience here. And it goes without saying that the second installment to one of the godfathers of the genre is something that's quite anticipated in our fort. Thankfully, Ducky does have plenty of experience with the first game and will absolutely deliver his thoughts on the second one when it comes. But considering the first game boasts a whopping 97% positive on Steam even after 6 years, we'd be utterly shocked if it was anything but incredible. Now's the perfect time to go back and get through the first one to prepare, so if you have yet to experience all of its glory and love Metroids, consider changing that. need this game in my life and I need it now. Only OGs of the channel might understand why, but one of my first reviews on our YouTube was of the game Gris, which was made by the same team as Neva. The game was gorgeous, heart-wrenching, tear-jerking, and such a beautiful puzzle platforming experience that I was genuinely sad when it ended. Neva is going to rip us apart in the same ways that much is obvious from the trailers. But if you're a fan of beautiful games, gorgeous ambiance and music, and puzzles that'll make your brain kick into high gear, then this one needed to be on your wish list yesterday. Needless to say, you'll hear from us the moment it has a release date, and you can absolutely expect our coverage on it when it comes. Now, 
I'm hesitant to feature this title on this list as when I saw the trailer, I thought it might be a far stretch to expect the same studio that delivered us No Man's Sky would have this game player ready by the end of 2024. However, rumors state that we could see it towards the end of the year and that has me excited enough to feature it. Despite the many warnings from our community to not get our hopes up for the launch of this game, and instead prioritize covering it after it's had a few months to age like the fine wine it's bound to be, I'd like to think the studio has spent long enough working on No Man's Sky to deliver us an experience that should be enjoyable day one. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see if it's going to be another disastrous launch, but I have high hopes for this one regardless. might not be as excited as us for Big Walk, considering the seemingly simple design of the game from first glance. However, we thought much the same when we started Untitled Goose Game, and were utterly shocked at how much fun the game ended up being, especially co-op. Knowing that the same studio is going to bring us another hilarious co-op game, and one that will clearly support more than just two people, well, I'm excited to rally our fork crew and hop in for the hilarious experience it's bound to be. I'll acknowledge that this game might not be appealing to the more solo player preferred crowd, and that's okay. But for any co-op teams, this is one to at least keep your eyes on. Let me tell you what you are missing, Dr. Jones. While you were playing your pointless game, I was playing you. You're wondering if maybe you should have built yourself a life of meaning instead of ending up here, dead and forgotten in the sands of Africa. Between Indiana Jones being a household favorite of my family and Bethesda being the studio that took on the challenge of bringing the world to us in the form of a game, I'm incredibly excited for this one. From the incredible graphics to the cinematic shots of us having to leap between airplanes, it's clear that they're trying to deliver a well-rounded and true-to-the-story gameplay experience. I think it goes without saying that they have their work cut out for them in their attempt to bring such a large fandom to life with this game. But as for me, I'm just hoping we can loot every gold statue we come across for a traditional Bethesda experience. Fans of the automation genre will be thrilled with the upcoming adventure, Odd Sparks. This isn't just another indie game that's popped up out of nowhere either, as they've actively been in development for over three years. We got a glimpse of the game with the demo, and it's more than just us that's been impressed by it. It promises to be a more casual experience with a decent dose of story content to keep people like me engaged. Sometimes I struggle with this genre, but this one just has that addictingly playful nature that keeps you going even after you've cringed at how late you've stayed up playing. We don't have a set in stone release date yet, but it is scheduled for 2024 on Steam, and from what we see on their Twitter, I think a release date announcement is just around the corner. Regardless, we're happy to wait patiently as with how much charm is already in the game, we'd hate for its completion to be rushed. Music. It is the thread of our world. The stitching binding us together. Our islands would not be the same without it. Despite the fact that this is one of the more indie titles on the list, I know enough people in our community that are sitting on the edge of their seats waiting for this one's release to earn it the feature on this list. I'm among that crew, as the storybook feel and beautiful art style has me excited. Mix it with that magical school experience and the gorgeous music we've gotten a glimpse of from the trailer, and I'd say this one is set to be a real treat for any fans of the cozy and casual genre. Sadly, we don't have any news on a release date, so we'll have to keep waiting patiently. But I'm okay with that, as when it comes to a title like this, 
I want them to take their time and make it the most it can be. While Dungeons of Hinterburg might not cater to our cozy and casual crew, fans of the RPG and fantasy genres will be excited to know that there's a new entry set to stand apart from all the others this year. Offering graphics similar to Hi-Fi Rush and baking in puzzle and exploration elements, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited to try my hand at the magic the world has to offer. Whether it's meeting the locals, picking apart the puzzles you come across, or just hitting the slopes and taking a moment to shred some snow, this one is dressed to impress for sure. It just announced its 2024 release onto Xbox 2, so thankfully this isn't one we'll have to keep guessing about. I am always looking for the next big creature collector. But I just can't settle for subpar or things that don't bring any originality to the table. Bay and Fauna, though, has had my interest peaked for months now, and despite having no release date as of yet, I'm still giving it the side eye every few days in the hope that this one will come sooner rather than later. I don't know if it's the Studio Ghibli art feel or the pure beauty of the sun rays ricocheting through the trees, but those are only side perks to the adorable creatures we've gotten a glimpse of so far. Despite all of that, it's quite clear that the world boasts many mysteries, as we can see, what we hope to be, the big friendly giants taking a stroll in the distance. That sense of magic and fantasy is what has kept this one high on the watch list for me, so expect us to alert you once it finally is announced. me will be shocked that this is up here. It might be an indie title, but considering it came out on Twitter that very few people have over 20 hours in the demo of this game, and Steam gave it away that I was one of them, well, that should say how plainly addicting this game is. Even after the story portions of the demo ended, I found huge enjoyment in decorating my garden, expanding my plots, and attempting to recruit each and every cute little critter I could to build the most impressive space and take home first prize at Horticular Day. Fans of the cozy and casual genre will need to get this one on their wish list as I have yet to find such a passive yet enjoyable experience in a cozy game. It offered such a simple while incredibly fulfilling experience, and the evil gnomes with their hilarious noises only helped its case. Welcome to Pixalia, where you can live your life the way you see fit. Shape your Pixalian's life with many interesting activities, <laughs> such as reading a book, cooking, or painting. If you're looking for The Sims meets Pixels, then 2 Pixelia is probably the closest thing we're going to get. We were lucky enough to be included in a closed demo a while back, and the mechanics we already saw impressed us. Whether you want to be a rock star, thief, or hightail it out to the countryside and become a farmer, it seems that this one will offer a slice of something for everyone. They're neck deep in development with it, and the roadmap only has us more excited, boasting things like politics, sports, and yes, a marriage and kids system too. Needless to say, we'll be keeping our eyes out for it, as pixelated or not, a life sim that attempts to bring so many aspects of everyday society and deliver them into a game, well, it has our attention for sure. Yet another farming sim, right? Well, I'd be apt to think that, except for the fact that right from the start, we're greeted with the term co-op and overwhelmed by hilarious dancing crabs. 
It's obvious that the train is stand out with their above average graphics and animations, not to mention the exceptional amount of customization options that appear to be in the base version of the game. Hopefully. There's even the teasing of electric scooters and other means of <laughs> transportation. What strikes me as most impressive is the full color palette of customization for furniture and decorative objects, so no more are we forced to deal with that horrible shade of pink that nobody really likes but you stare at begrudgingly, waiting for the day that a dev will allow you full control. While we still don't know if farm folks will deliver and make that dream come true, we're impressed with what we've seen so far and we'll absolutely drag our fort crew into this one as soon as we can. As an OG player of Zoo Tycoon and an avid fan of its spiritual successor, Planet Zoo, I'm excited that the genre is seeing a pixelated entry. Blending the genres is bound to offer a unique experience for fans, and I can't wait to take care of everything from elephants to the triceratops. No one said zoos had to feature only living animals, and I'm happy that the devs have catered to dinosaur fans such as myself because, let's be honest, that's the real reason I want to play it. That's not all though, as it's offering a far nicer visual experience than most pixelated life sins, and the glimpses of story that we've gotten so far have me hopeful that it won't just be a management sim, but rather offer some relationship and story bits to complete the package. I recently featured this one on our Twitter page, and it's earned its spot in this video as well, because there aren't many survival craft games in development that genuinely pique my interest. I'm not the type that wants to play a slightly altered version of something that already exists in about 10 different games that I could name off the top of my head this very moment. Survival craft is survival craft, and unless you're going to show me something new, I'm going to stick to what's already in our Steam inventory. What's the something new in Under a Rock, you ask? Dodo birds. Yes, this one is taking the Neanderthal age and blending it with survival craft in a hilarious way, and anything that meshes comedy with survival is going to have at least a half dozen clips from us on it because there's not much Ducky and I enjoy more than hilariously dying together in a survival game. You can absolutely count on our coverage for this one. I mentioned earlier in this video that I'm not looking to experience any survival craft game that doesn't offer me something new, but Solarpunk is defending its spot on this list by boasting floating islands, airships, and energy systems that align with any and all of those who enjoy the environmentalist approach. Wind, solar, and recycling systems are a thing, and the graphic design of the game caters to those who prefer that more casual and cozy survival experience. After all, not every survival situation has to include creepy zombies and monsters set on seeing our utter destruction. What makes it all the better is the co-op experience it'll offer, and I'll be the first to say that flying around an army of airships with friends just seems like a good time. Just think of how much stuff we can take with us. All teasing aside, despite its lack of release date, I'm hopeful we might see a possible early access release this year. If you're like me, you're incredibly depressed that your letter stating you've been accepted to a school of witchcraft and wizardry never came. And with recent drama regarding the iconic series, I'm just glad that we have games on the horizon that will offer us that same magical environment while being, hopefully, free of any drama. 
Katori Academy is promising a full schedule of magical classes, creatures, and crop care that I'm impatiently waiting to experience. Between the beautifully cartoony graphics and the fact that we can hop on our broom and go for a cruise around town, well, I'm just hoping our letters to attend come sooner rather than later. This one was rumored for 2023, so while there's no release date yet, I'm hopeful that the announcement is coming soon. I don't think I need to explain myself when I say the very idea of being a hobbit, living in my little hobbit hole, tending my garden, and listening to the gorgeous music that Lord of the Rings never fails to deliver, seems like a dream come true. The only thing better would be if I could hop into the game and live it out myself. And while one day our dream of being homesteaders and building our homes into the earth might just become a thing, this game is going to have to satiate that desire for now. Regardless of if we're allowed a review copy of this one, you can expect our coverage to come, because there aren't many fandoms that top Lord of the Rings for us, and with Private Division backing it, it seems unlikely to fail. I just hope it comes this year. Sims 2.0 anyone? I say that, but no title has yet to take down the titan of industry. However, Paralives is already showcasing some beautiful customization features and intriguing design concepts, while including all the things we love about The Sims, such as families, skills, and the constant fear of ruining our characters' lives. I particularly enjoy the more drawn feel of the art in this game, and I'm excited to see what it'll offer that isn't found in other life sims in the industry. It's such a huge feat attempting to make a mark in this particular genre, so let's hope it'll be as good as it already looks. Despite Chef RPG's lack of release date, it's been on our wishlist for a while now. It's given me those same vibes that Haunted Chocolatier is offering, and while this one isn't from the King of Pixels himself, the idea feels much the same. We'll be out in the wilderness, hunting and foraging for our customers' next meal, and I'm so okay with the fact that this is becoming a trend in the gaming world. Honestly though, what's drawing me into this title is the unique character art. It seems we're not going to be interacting with your stereotypical humans, and the idea of some fantasy baked into a restaurant management sim is completely okay with me. While this one only has rumors swimming around in relation to its release date, that's not tampering our excitement for it, so it's earned its place on the list. And with that, we've come to the end of our list. I don't think I have to say that 2024 is going to be incredible for gamers in all genres. There's, without a doubt, way more amazing games that are coming that we have yet to feature on the channel. And it's at this point you should hit that subscribe button, because if you enjoyed this one, you'll be happy to know it's a regular thing here in our fort. From monthly releases to titles years in the future, you can trust us to keep you informed on hundreds of upcoming games. And when we're allowed the chance, or can afford to, we'll bring you reviews for them too. A note to any and all developers watching this, if you're interested in our coverage of your title or being featured on the channel, please check the description for links to our website, coverage forms, and featured request forms. We can never guarantee coverage, but we do always consider every request, and even if we can't, it's likely we know someone who can. It's at this point that we'll give everyone a huge thank you for watching. Words can't express how honored we are that so many new people have joined us on our YouTube recently, and we hope to continue delivering on our promise to provide you with wholesome, entertaining, and informative content. Bye for now, and until next time. <laughs>